You're right. Turn 43. Turn 43! Decisive campaigns. Barbarossa. Somebody asked what the name of the game was. In a comment. I don't mean to mock too badly, but I have to a little. It's in the name of the channel. And I say it at the start of every turn. So, there you go. Uh, I bought this game a couple years ago right on the day <laughs> that Hitler started the invasion, actually. Um, and it was full price. I paid full price. And then like two weeks later, it was on sale. And I was like, really? But whatever. I've gotten my 50 something dollars of enjoyment out of it for sure. And the first thing we're going to do, folks, is trash these guys here. I wonder what would happen if we just, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Let the Romanians work together and take this thing themselves. There we go. Hey, it, nobody even died. Really, I mean, unless you're one of the 200. I mean, then it sucks. But overall, out of 44,000 people who got to the front, pretty proud of you guys. It's about 15,000 and change. Our dearly departed enemies. I'm happy about that. What are you? You're fourth Romanian. Get over there. Are you? Yeah. Right on. So we're just going to get fourth Romanians over to the uh, the left here. And that's everyone. An 11th Army. There. And I think that's it. And then we're going to get 17th Army over to the east. Because it is now their job to protect Rostov and environs once I get them over there. There's no real rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I'm just getting them into position. All good? Yep. Okay. That gets us a uh, nice position here. Are you covering Rostov? No. Okay. Yeah. That one guy will bitch and moan because he's out of command for a turn. Big deal. You all right? Yeah. I think that's everybody. Is there anybody else here? There are a couple of divisions that can be moved. Okay. Now, as to the third Romanians, I'm going to send them back. Because if I do go into the Sevastopol area, I'm going to need their mountain divisions, of which they have two. everybody okay fairly happy about that i mean we probably will take this next turn we've surrounded it long enough they're still getting supplied but whatever um next turn i'll be able to get the heck out of here with uh in fact i may as well do it now
So all I'm doing is getting my divisions out of Rostov so that I can drive them back up the road. And we've got a garrison and we, I mean, nothing's going to happen in one turn here, right? And then I'll have a whole bunch of, uh, first or 17th army guys. Let's see. Oh. Not enough. One, two. Okay. That's good. Uh, to take care of this situation. And they can move out and protect this area here along the river. Meanwhile, yeah, now that we've identified this little problem. Whoa. Interesting. Vikings. Okay. Just out of curiosity before I move. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to stay there. That's okay. Uh -huh. No. Fail. <laughs> okay. So, they've got a couple of divisions in there. 14,000 at Kharkov. Another area I really don't need to be in, but hey, here we are, <laughs> somehow. Arg. All right, let's take this out. We surrounded it. Not too shabby. Can you get over there? Yeah. Alright. I hate putting the mountain division on the offensive like that. Um, I want you to get over there. And I think we can take these guys out. Yeah, we're way overpowered in a good way. So that is the approach that I like. Infantry. Ooh. Can we go south one? Nope. Hmm. I don't think anybody's going to come in there, but. Hmm. Just for protection's sake, and we'll move next turn. All right, but gobbling up a couple of divisions never hurt anyone. <laughs> At least on our side. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty happy with how this is going. You know, the 17th Army is where it's supposed to be, or it's getting there. Our friends are getting out of here, and 1st Panzer Romanians and 11th Army are still available uh, around here to do some damage. So there's a lot of fighting power in the south still. Mm. Yeah, let's see here. Mm -hmm. my command here. Move one south. 
good. That doesn't hurt us in the north. And that will enable you to come down one more. Hmm. And I cannot. There. Okay. That's good. Uh, that wasn't as many... Yeah. That was not as much offensive power as I wanted. I should have started with this side. Which will work. This one will work. Much better. Nope. All right, we'll wait till next turn. That's fine. Let's try that. Okay. And those are good pickets that will Tell us where things are happening, if they're happening. Uh, I'll move you one more. Yeah. Pretty good readiness levels still for those guys. No, uh, no fatigue numbers. How's this one? Got okay. uh, All right. Okay. Well, I think should happen is this guy should be pressured. Hopefully squished into the southwest. Didn't hurt us. Excellent. All right. One more. what we want. Three divisions attacking one division. Huh. Put you there. Where did that command go? Huh. Huh. 32, 39. I mean, we can probably get him to run. Let's see. No? Okay. Fail. <laughs> Didn't hurt too bad. But if I could have gotten them into one hex, this will be interesting. I do feel like I'm going to have a huge gap here that I need to fill up. And 4th Army is just going to have to fill this space here now. Now that they've moved up, they used to be down here at Gomel and covering this. And now they're here, and I want them to be here. <laughs> so. Good times. So there was a lot of backing off here. Interesting. Oh boy, I think I need to clear this up first. Oh, the... Uh, Supply is not so good up here, huh? Or look at those awful readiness levels. No wonder. Okay, there's some here that are great. But... Alright, who else? Tots? Nope, can't get into the hex. All I want you to do is get into the hex. All right, well, turn this off. I'm a little overpowered, I know, but oh my gosh. 
Not happy. <laughs> Not happy. I mean, their entrenchment wasn't that fantastic, and we weren't that tired. Like, what the heck? Huh. Can anyone get over there? 130 and I can't get into that hex. Fifty percent. The motorized can't get in there. It's a marsh. I thought the tanks could. What about this? Okay. Um well. I really see no solution except to set it up for the next turn. Hmm. <laughs> These divisions feel really dangly, like unnecessary. It should be up here, but uh, I don't have the the supply. Gosh, that's ugly. It's ugly. Okay, well, I was hoping some decision over here would help me with this over here because I could release some... Uh, are all my purple divisions out of there? Yeah. Ninth Army units to get the heck over here. And 50 entrenchment. And what are our readiness levels like? Abysmal. Okay. So we're just going to shuffle, and that's going to free up this motorized division. I'm checking now. <laughs> okay. They're all for us. I don't know about sending them that far away, but whatever. That turned out well. So again, all I'm trying to do is what I said last turn, get the third to come from the north and the second to come from the south and uh, east. And we'll be in good shape. And I want to surround these guys which I can. Can we get you in there? No. Okay. All right. So 
This is this turn. Yeah, out of 400. Okay, I'm, I'm going to max it out because I didn't look at the readiness levels. <laughs> okay, 7,000. I'm going to leave you there. I wanted to see if anybody else could go into this hex, but they don't want to. Um, so there's 242 in there, and I can attack them with 155. And like, there's a possibility that it could work, but I don't know. Let's see if I can harass this. Nope. The Tots or the Das Reich doesn't want to do it. We're just out. And okay. We'll destroy it next turn. That's fine. They're not getting out of there. I've done what I can here. Surrounded this. My pickets out. Done what I can with 6th Army. First Panzer is getting into position. To be able to run up and down this line, basically, and protect it. 7th, 8th Army is getting over to Rostov. We took this city and that city. We built them on rock and roll. The only thing that's not going well is this. This is not, this flanking strike is not happening the way I thought it would. I gotta say. Alright, curbing lobbies. Hitler, um, he wants some more oil. Um, I'm gonna leave Goering alone. And, uh, okay. He's gonna help us out later on. Not that we need it, but uh, mail room. So I can roll the dice, <laughs> and it's got to roll sixty or under, I think. I can yell at them. I'm gonna visit the mail room, and we got lucky. Good. Sanction division. <laughs> yeah. Might as well. Alright, let's do our relocations. No need to move army group center. Although, next time, Tula is attractive. But again, it's no closer, really. It's a little closer, but... Why doesn't Moscow have an airfield? And I think that's just for the game. Um, we're not moving anything in Army Group North. Army Group Center. It's at Moscow. It's good enough, you know, where it is. And we don't have anywhere closer to the goal to get it to. So uh, here we'll be fine for the moment. We'll probably move it north and west a little bit in a minute. Is that everything? I think it's everything. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we've got some fleeing. Oh. They abandoned Kharkov. Did you see that? <laughs> it's like the, the motorized divisions show up on the horizon and they're like, uh, we're out. <laughs> this has been a very odd game in terms of Soviet defense, right? save forty four I remember being forty four not no more okay let's take a quick satellite look at the action so it looks like we're having some truck trouble 
We'll find out why, whether that's storm or what. <laughs> I get I get this. <laughs> Why don't you just send it all to Moscow? But there's no further eastern point in Army Group North that we could move it to, so it's like it's as good as where it's at. This is very good. The supply chain through Army Group Center is good. Uh, we've got another chance. They did try and solidify this a little bit. We've got very good readiness levels here now. Except for our boys on the other side. Not so good. The infantry up here. Look at these stacks. There's a few of them. we got a bit of a trench line here. We are going to destroy this. Readiness levels are very good. Hmm. Yeah, not surprisingly, the enemy has appeared over here. Uh, I'm going to continue to try and fall on these guys and destroy something. We'll get this. Ooh. Did I see a 17? Thought I did. No. Pretty good. I guess I miss saw it. Yeah, they're all all right over here. Okay. There's this weird surprising damage division up here that ran away. Um, let's see if we can gobble this up. Love to. I think I'm going to stick around for one more turn because this is just too interesting what's happened over here and uh, the ability to attack. Not shabby, not bad. We can we can do it. Uh, how are you guys? 56, 62, I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. We've got a lot of decisions. Some truck refits, that's great. Yeah, okay. Daily log, let's see if there's any info about the, uh, the truck. Yeah, I mean... What do you expect? We've got them in another theater. Yeah. And we're very good in... Um, oh, we have a Panzer group with mechanical failures, a couple of them. Yeah, but we got coats and stuff. <laughs> What do we got? Ninth Army. I have to do something with Ninth Army. It's not like the enemy's attacking either. I probably could. I just want the flexibility to be able to move them while I'm attacking if I need to as blockers. That's really all they're doing right now. Wow, our quality is minus 30? Could be because of the weather. Alright, a couple more. Panzer divisions with mechanical failures. There's our 11th Army. I guess they're, they're still asleep, aren't they? Hmm. All right. Performance evaluation, we're still at 92%. Same level of infantry. We're not fighting that many battles because we cannot reach the enemy. But we did win them all. Oh, the enemy defeated us. Okay, except for that one. You can always pause these to read them. Nothing else going on there. Logistics, we got our standard thousand barrels going in and out and going to the next theater. Here. We're staying steady at around 39,000 barrels. And we got a little bit of a inventory here in Army Group South. Rail capacity, it's brutal. <laughs> it's really brutal in Army Group North anyway. The rest don't seem too bad. Truck columns, as we saw, they are having trouble. <coughs> it is abysmal in Army Group North. 
but the rest seem fine. Yeah, let's check out our charts. Knocked them back down a little bit. And overall, men in the field, yeah, feels about the same. Relationships are good. Political points are good. The trains, you can see the problems in Army Group North. Same with the truck columns. I mean, <laughs> 106 to 11 is not so good, you know. Um, same here, we're seeing a decline in Army Group Center, despite how well they're doing. I'm trying to give Goering as much support as I can because he needs it. <laughs> not being so great. But, uh, yeah, so that's fun. Uh, I'll put another discussion with Dr. Gordon Ressler of Robots in Space in the uh, description if you like learning about this stuff. He and I have talked to, together for, I think, three years now. Um, we've been having conversations, and there's a playlist on the other channel, the Cold Star Tech channel, of uh, discussions that I've had specifically with him, if you want to learn more about that. Um, there's a lot of dreamers and engineers in space, not many business-minded people. <laughs> so there's a lot of people who want $200 million to invent their pet project, and uh, you ask them, who's your customer, and they don't know. So we've got a ways to go in that field, and I hope to help out as much as I can in that area. Anyway, uh, that's the deal. Thanks for watching. I think I will record one more turn in this sitting because, uh, like I said, they've just behaved. It's the Soviets have just behaved in such an interesting way that I need to check it out a little more. I'll see you soon.